How's it going everybody? Today I'm teaching you how to set this trap on your friend's house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back in creative mode and show you what it looks like. There we go. So now you guys can see what this looks like. It's just an ordinary house with a few pieces of redstone on this side coming up here. Right here. Let's lay out a little scenario. So let's say your friend was in a cave right here and decided to walk up to his house. As you can see, I just hopped back into survival mode. So let's say he was walk into his house, put his things away, and this is what's going to happen. His house is going to get exploded. It's going to fall down. This big hole is going to be created in your world. And his chest will more than likely explode, causing you to come down here later and gather all his materials. Or you can just have him collect his materials again and just be a nice prank to pull on your friends. So now, as you can see, I just went back into creative mode. We to gather the materials that we need to build this, and we can begin the build. What you're going to need for this build is one door, one stair, a piece of string, 52 wood of choice. I'm going to be using spruce, as many TNTs as you want. I'm going to be using nine, two or so torches, 31 stone bricks, 10 planks, two trick wires, a few pieces of redstone, and one chest. This is a good house to build for your friends if they're just starting out in your Minecraft world if you just want to pull a prank on them. So to start it off, we're going to place one staircase with a plank just like this. We're going to put one plank directly next to the stair and then place a 3x3 three three directly behind it. So now we're going to grab our door and place that in right now. So if you want to grab your door, we're going to place it right in front of the staircase just like this. Then we can grab our wood and place it four blocks high in each of the corners directly one piece diagonal from all four corners. After you've finished all four corners, we're going to grab our stone bricks and place those in, just like this around the door. We're not going to put anything on the bottom yet because we'll be adding those in after. So on this side, we're going to place a 3x3 three three with the middle hole for the glass, which I just realized I forgot to mention. So you're going to want three pieces of glass. Those are going to go in the centers. So one in the center here. And they just put all the glass in. That way we won't have to deal with it anymore. And the same with this side. Now you're going to place one row below and one row above with stone bricks on all three sides. I'm going to place our spruce wood facing sideways below all the stone brick. Oops, I forgot to do this row. And we're going to do the same on this row, once again making it sideways. And in front of the door, you can also add them facing sideways. I like the way it looks, facing sideways. Now we're going to bring all the corners up one more block. And you can grab your wood once again and face them going sideways into the next corner just like this and do that on all four sides now we're going to place nine temporary blocks right here and we're going to place the wood just like this so up here up 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 and up perfect so now you can go in and delete your stone bricks Now you can add your torches in, that way it doesn't get too dark. We're going to make these facing sideways once again. Alright, perfect, that looks good for the house. Now we're going to work on the redstone part and the TNT. So what you're going to need is your string, your TNT, your trick wire hooks, and your redstone. So now we're going to put our trick wire hooks in right on the corners as soon as we walk in. Put one right there and one right there. If you put one string between it, it should go down, and then when you stand on it, it should go down even lower. So now we just have to make a quick staircase for the redstone to go on. Put your two pieces of redstone. Now we're just gonna dig the staircase once again, just continue it down underneath the house. So I'm gonna build a block right here. 
And then I'm going to build one more right there. And now I should have used all six redstone. Good. And now you're just going to delete out a bigger hole for your TNT to go. I have nine TNT here, so I'm just going to delete a one gap in the wall, just like I'm doing, and place my TNT. And place five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like this. Perfect. I can cover up this just like this. Perfect. So now, as soon as you walk in the house, or if your friend walks in the house, it should go off and you just pull a nice prank on him. So let's say he was coming from a cave right here, and he went to go put his stuff in the chest, like right here, or maybe one down like this. His house will explode just like that. And they will probably get mad. And now there's a big hole that they're probably going to want to patch up before they build their new house, and they might have just lost all their stuff. They may think it's a creeper, but that's a pretty big destruction for a creeper. Before you go, I'm going to show you guys one more thing, just real quick. So if we go down on the ground here, I'm just going to set this up again. So we had a two block gap just like this, trick wire hooks like this, and our string just like that. And the redstone line was coming off of it like this, so you can pull this prank on your friends. So as soon as you hit this, the trick wire hook will go off causing the TNT to explode just like that. The closer the TNTs are, the more destruction it will do near the top of the house. So let me set this up one more time for you guys. So you put your trick wire hooks right here and right here with your string just like, oopsies. Wait, no, I had that right. Sorry. And you put your string right in the middle here. Now you can put your redstone as far as you want it, just make sure you add some repeaters if it's a really far line. You can put your TNTs out here. And as soon as they step on the trick wire hook, it should cause a big destruction. You don't need to put redstone on both sides, though I sometimes do. Just because it'll get both sides quickly. And it won't have to spread from one side to the other. If you start it on both sides, it'll make this big explosion that you just saw. So that is going to be it for the video guys. Be sure to comment down below what you want to see me do next. Otherwise you can follow me on my Instagram at mgsrgaming and I will see you in the next one. Click on the top left to watch a video that YouTube recommends to you and click on the right to subscribe because there are new videos coming out every other day.